Welcome. Today's member focus is going to be with John Burke from Sinetra and we're really glad to have this opportunity. So uh, thank you for joining us and let's learn a little bit about John and what he does for a living. John, glad you're here. Thank you very much. Hey man, thanks for having me. You bet. Tell us a little bit about how you got into this business and give us some personal background. Coming out of high school, I wanted to be an auto mechanic. So I went to school and uh, became a mechanic and in doing that work, uh, just kind of evolved into selling auto parts and then one day the phone company asked me to to come work for them as a technician and there we went. Yeah, from there. Well, that's cool. So it all got started based on what you were liking doing and then obviously just made the opportunity. Well, tell us how you got started in this business then. Yeah, in this business I was working with Texas Tech as, a, uh, as an IT technician and uh, Sinetra was one of our vendors. They called and said, uh, hey, we got a job opening. Are you interested? Look at everything. So I uh, came over and jumped in. So I've been with the company since 2005. And uh, over that time, I mean, we've grown 5X in revenue and 3X in staff. Well, wow, that's great. And all right here in Lubbock, Texas. Right here. So what kind of services do you all provide for your customers? We're a full service technology house. We do um, everything from uh, computer support to cyber security, everything in between. What makes you guys stand out, John, from all the other technology-driven businesses? So what we do a lot differently is, is we take a very business-centric approach to technology. So business is at the center of what we do, and technology is just a facilitator. So when you think IT support, you might be thinking, oh, it's broken, somebody needs to fix it. And that costs you a lot of time and productivity. So we take a proactive approach, fix things before they're broken, and then really what techno how can we use technology to move the business forward, whether it's growth, a new line of business, uh, a, new, a new application, customer relationship management, those sort of things. Well, that's really great because I know that your customers obviously get a lot of satisfaction out of knowing that they can have not only you look at it ahead of time, but also the instantaneous response. So, that's, a, that's obviously a very good business model. Sure, and the peace of mind, knowing your data is secure, uh, you can go to bed at night and know when you wake up um, that data is secure somewhere in a lockbox, and uh, also, you know, that your applications in your office are secure. Yeah, and, and uh, your customers, obviously, how do you convince them to uh, participate in what you guys have to offer? You know, that's, that's what makes it really fun is, um, a lot of professional services firms that we work with, right? Their time, their time is their inventory. And so that, that inventory has no shelf life. So being able to proactively avoid a lot of problems before they ever happen, and then also respond very, very quickly. When a problem happens, that's the exception. But let's get you back in business selling that inventory. That's awful important to a lot of us who are, in, you know, our networks are our daily lives. Absolutely. I mean, it's a, and you got to stay both connected not only to each other but to the world in general. So, the majority of your business is all in town. Do you have uh, customers outside of Lubbock? So we have five locations. We've got Lubbock, Odessa, Amarillo, El Paso, and Dallas, Fort Worth. Uh, around Lubbock, uh, most of our customers are actually outside of town. We do a lot of work with K-12 schools. Yeah. Yeah and uh, so we reach them mostly through direct sales. Yeah. And so then that's obviously a, a pretty good network that you have to draw from. Tell us a little bit about what you do with the Chamber of Commerce. You know the Chamber's been very instrumental in, in both branding, right, getting a lot of brand recognition and then developing relationships that have turned into referrals and some business. So. It's been really good for us. Well, I know that you're a very strong partner and a good member of the Chamber as well. Tell us a little bit about your activities, what you do personally with the Chamber. Our marketing manager says, I think you've been to every business after hours. <laughs> and um, also, uh, I attend a lot of ribbon cuttings. I'm, I'm a part of the ambassador program, which allows us to welcome new businesses to love it. Yes, sir. And uh, also, um, ribbon cuttings and, um, you know, groundbreaking. So, well, we thank you for that volunteer service that you give and our ambassadors, we always call them the, the tip of the chamber spear. So, uh, and that is a good way, I think, for folks to get a lot of networking and relationship building experiences in. And so, uh, and John, again, on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce, we're really happy with your membership. Thank you very much for your support, also personally with your volunteer activities with the chamber. Well, thanks for all that you do. I mean, it's been great. 
Well, John, thank you very much for joining us today. And, and that makes it for our today's edition of Member Focus. And thank you all very much for joining us. And, and you all look up John Burke and Sinetra. We're very glad to have them members of the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you all.